how to create a circular mosaic design like this in Affinity Designer. Select the ellipse tool and hold down shift and create a circle. What you can then do is you can go over here and you've got the knife tool. This is in version two. You can split the design apart using tools in version one, but the knife tool makes it so much easier. And simply hold down the shift and draw a straight line. So you've split that curve apart. You can see there, you've got two now. You can repeat that, cut it again. Now at some point, it will suddenly deselect. Unfortunately, I wish it would keep them permanently all selected, but it doesn't. So go to the move tool and select them again and continue that. Just keep cutting it in different angles. So just drag down and split it. You can create as many cuts as you would like, but I'm not going to go too far with this, but you could do it a hundred times. So once you've done that, you can now apply different gradients to each of these sections. So with that selection, you've got a gradient already, but you can always go to the gradient tool and you can modify that gradient. So you can just apply any of these gradients or click this one, and apply that. It should be noted that sometimes if you've got a very, very small pass, you need to zoom in. If you don't zoom in, you might not be able to change that path. So now I've got that design, I could just use that. But now if I wanted to, I could change all of those all in one go. So I can just click here with the gradients. So I just click there and you can see the result there. Now personally, I prefer just to keep it with the design I've got already. But let's just go back to that. But you can, if you want to, use those swatches to just create loads of different color variations. Now I've got this, what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna group it or just keep it individually. Now, if you group it, it makes it more complex to add the mosaic effect via the layer effects. Just be aware of that. You could group it and then you have to go to each of the groups and select the individual items, then apply the effect that way. Grouping does cause problems with how it, the effect is used. So I'm not gonna group it. So I'm now hold down the ultra option key and the result is different. If you grouped it, it wouldn't look like this. So you, it's like either way. And I'm just gonna resize it and reposition it. And also I'm gonna rotate it by 10 degrees. And you can see the result there. Now what I can do, I can apply a power transform or power duplication, depending on what you call it. Command J or Control J. And you can repeat that multiple times. And you can see the effect now. I've got that one slightly going off that center point. And you apply it 15 or 20 times to achieve that result. And again, you can do any of these swatches, apply these swatches. I would suggest you save this, if you want this one, to the assets. So you've got it stored away so you can use it at a later time. And you can simply click on any of these and apply that. And you can see the effect of that. Now, personally, I'm just gonna keep what I've got, but you can, if you want to, change all the color schemes at any point. And you can always, of course, use any, you can mix up the gradients. You don't have to have all the same gradient. So I've got that design. Well, with that design, I can now apply layer effects. So go to layers, go down to effects, just click here, and then go to 3D. And you see the 3D. Now, if you group them, also another thing is if you group them, what will happen, it will just apply the 3D effect to the group. You need to select the individual items. Apply it to the group, it's all just completely the same design. Individually, you'll see this 3D effect all the way through to that center point. And also you can, of course, add bevel and boss as well, or other ones. And you can change the direction, you can change various things. You've got profiles, so you can click on different profiles, change that to create different results. I'm just gonna go with the standard one and not bevel and boss. But you can also add outer glow, inner glow, inner shadow, etc., and close. And there's your end result. And of course, you can always apply this, group this, and do exactly the same. Multiply it multiple times again and create even more designs. And of course, I've got all these selected. You can, if you want, they're just layers. You can go for darken to create some interesting results. Multiply, overlay, difference to create some very unusual color combinations there in your mosaic. Also, if you want, just go over here, select the ellipse tool. You can see I've got 0.8 there. 
and this is applied to all the design. Again, you could select individual curves. I've got all of them selected, but you don't have to have them all selected. You can just go up here, and then you can turn around and say 2.5 or 5. Personally, I think it, about 1, 0 0.5 works better, just a very thin grouting. And of course, you can tweak it even more. You've got various effects here as well, various things here, add arrows into it if you want. And again, simply, if you want to change the color, simply click here as well to create even more unusual mosaic designs. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.